Good morning. Part of what I'd love to do is I'd love to set up a whole lot of benches. So I've made a bunch of these benches. <laughs> I've been devoting a lot to R&D. And really the key of it is this. So you want it to bend, right? The, the bar has to bend. So it slopes like this and I have a little bit of padding it's one layer of a yoga mat covered in a lovely material right because you don't want to put pressure on the inside of the elbow right? so you want your elbows to be completely relaxed with no pressure on the ulnar nerve you know here here's the latest <laughs> You don't need one of these. <laughs> it's really more to demonstrate the this practice. That's what these benches are really about. You can use blocks just fine. <laughs> uh, all right. Active inhale and active exhale. Are you ready? So come and stand. Lift your heart up and smile. Let the smile go through your whole body. Take a moment to reset the mind. So you come into this place of being extraordinarily grateful to be alive another day. To live both on the outside world and also on the inside world. What a great, good thing that we're here devoting time to the inside world. Slowly inhale, press into your feet, inhale, inhale, Inhale even more. So you're lifting up and out of the waist and you wiggle around. You get the breath into the back ribs. Right? That's where most of the lung tissue is, is in the back body. And it's the most constricted. You know? So we work that around a little bit. Whenever you're done, blow it away. Every day we practice small little steps and the breath becomes ever more refined. Again, inhale slowly. Inhale. Inhale to your fullest, expanding in three dimensions. Lift up the heart and smile into it. Never go too long. Blow it away. <laughs> Squeeze out every bit of breath and pause here. So simple to do. This practice is very safe. So simple not to do this practice. Again, inhale, 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 and float with it. Maybe you wiggle around. before you blow it all away. <laughs> Squeeze out every bit of breath and draw in the low belly.
alternating the nostrils. Kapalabhati. Pull in the belly, exhale. Switch sides, pull in the belly, exhale. Inhale, add a little more, a wee bit more, hang in the sky, but keep it really easy, very important, blow it away. Linger here. Setting the stage for the exploration of the inner world. Yet again, here we go. Inhale a little, inhale a little, press into the heels and fill up to your maximum. Never overdo it, blow it away before you need to. <laughs> With the mind cleared and the path inside opens up. So the only way to really develop your connection is by scheduling time for it. This is your time. This is your time to explore the world inside. Most of the time we live in the external world or we live in a constant bath of thoughts about the external world. Now is the time to strengthen your inner life early in the morning. So you stand up tall with your hands in prayer position, your elbows are supported
because three rounds of breath never really got anybody anywhere. And now hone your attention on the sensations under the nose. So the sensations are always changing on the pads of your thumbs, the, the rings of the nostril, the, the frenulum, the little space between the nostrils, the tip of the nose. Right with the tactile sensation. Focus on what you really can feel. So there's nothing imaginary here. There's nothing there's no fantasy going on. Once the beam of your attention is more or less stable, let's change the posture. So you open your hands to the Hakini, the prayer ball here. Such a great position. The, the wires of the fingers connect. Pinky fingers connect. Fourth fingers connect. Middle fingers connect. Index fingers connect. Thumbs almost connect. See if you can meditate on the points of contact that the fingers make with each other. Sensation.
quickly come to notice that when you're inhaling, sensations increase on the fingertips. And when you're exhaling, the sensations apparently decrease. Rising sensation. Falling sensation. And now interlace the fingers, but extend the index fingers. So we have Kali Mudra here. And the index fingers point up into the root of the nose. Move your meditation point now where the index fingers make contact with your brow. What you really can feel, so nothing imaginary here, no. moment-to-moment -moment changing reality at the tips of the fingers. Steady your attention. Let's hum into the fingertip, the index fingertips, where it meets the root of the nose. Long, slow inhale, inhale, inhale. So it sinuses and hum.
keep steadying your attention to the tips of the index finger. the second hum into the space between the brows. Long, slow inhale. Inhale. Inhale some more. Now move your meditation in three quarters of an inch. So out beyond the index fingers in the forebrain. Take the tip of your tongue and bring it to the valley. Just above the teeth, there's an indentation. Have the tip of the tongue be pointing that way. See if you can train your attention into the front of your skull. And let's do a hum into the forebrain, three quarters of an inch beyond the index fingers. Inhale. And now move your attention back inch and a half, something like that, to the middle of the brain. And there you find a cave. And so sit down or stand up with good attention in your cave. Move the tip of the tongue to the bump the vomer bone. There's a bump on the roof of the skull and the hard palate. Grounded feet. Pelvis over the feet. 
tip of the tongue pressing into the the bump and let's hum into the cave Breathe into the cave. Every breath is a drop of light. Let's do that again. With your feet grounded, pelvis over the feet, standing up tall, tip of the tongue, touching the roof of the mouth. Hum into the cave. As you inhale, notice sensations increasing. As you exhale, notice sensations decreasing. Attention does not have to be perfect to receive the wealth and the abundance of the practice. And now from the cave, go back three quarters of an inch behind the cave and then go up about the size of a ping pong ball. So you're a little behind the cave and up a little bit. And 
And here you discover the pratyahara point. So let your attention be maybe the size of a ping pong ball, a little behind the cave and up. And see if you can direct the resonance of your hum into this meditation point. So you slowly inhale, inhale, inhale some more. They are reading from Gurdav Yogi Amrit Dasai. Life happens externally and internally. There is the material world in which the body survives and the world of prana, breath, spirit, which manifests from within. In the natural state, external and internal are complementary. But if you depend excessively on the external world, if you live only in the external world, then you create conflict. Buying a sports car will not solve the disturbances you have within. Most people are so engaged with the external world, they scarcely know the internal world. They have not interest nor energy for inner exploration. They don't make time for it. Make time for your inner exploration. Make peace with the internal world. Use your life's energy and attention to move within. Learn the art of living on the external plane in such a way that it allows your mind to disengage from it. Use your time, energy, and attention to strengthen your spiritual eternal dimension. And now bring your attention down to the center of your chest. Over and over, day by day, these places inside, they grow, they get stronger. It requires making time every day for practice. Let's tune into the sound of OM. Inhale. OM. Take good care, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye now.